Am I the only one who thought Christopher Plummer was Patrick Stewart for a little bit? Knives out. Happy windy Thanksgiving, everybody. Hope you had a good Thanksgiving. It is windy as shit right now, so I have to like do this quick. My house is rattling. The wind is so strong. So I'm just gonna give you my quick thoughts on Knives Out before my house gets blown over. So Knives Out is the newest movie by Ryan Johnson, Ryan Johnson, the guy behind Star Wars, The Last Jedi, Looper. I haven't seen Star Wars, The Last Jedi, but I know Looper's a good movie. Uh, time travel with a twist. It's got like uh, Bruce Willis and Jimmy from H2O. Good movie. Check it out if you haven't seen it. But Knives Out is the newest film from him and it is a whodunit mystery. It even advertises itself as a whodunit within the trailer. And I feel like that trailer gives away a little too much. So if you've seen the trailer, it does reveal a couple of things that they shouldn't have. If you haven't seen the trailer, do not watch it. Go into this blind. Now, this has a big great cast so if there's any positives i can give it, it is the cast i thought everybody was great you got tony collette from hereditary a movie that i love she plays the very like, almost childish weird like in the trailer she's like the typical like she sounds like a 16 year old girl the way she talks like oh my god you're famous right chris evans captain america is in here we got don johnson we got uh, Jamie Lee Curtis, Lori Schroeder herself, and we got uh, Michael Shannon from 8 Mile and all kinds of stuff. He even, I think he got a start in Groundhog's Day, but this just, the list goes on and on. There's a lot of people. So, stellar cast, but they don't use them as good as they could have. Like, we don't get too many lines or moments with a lot of these characters. The story is more focused on Marta, the nanny or the the nurse who takes care of look alike patrick stewart he looks like i thought he was patrick stewart for a while but he's christopher Plummer. but this story is about her and we got daniel craig who's the investigator and he needs to find out who killed christopher Plummer because he suspects foul play who's the murderer or is there a murderer is there two murderers? Are there aliens or was it crab people? Another thing I liked about this movie is just the mystery stuff. I love a good mystery and this one's definitely intriguing. It keeps you guessing and wondering. You're trying to like come up with your own theories and I came up with quite a few. Unfortunately, they all fell flat, died. They were all just completely wrong, not even close. I couldn't think of what actually was happening. Like I was like, really, that's what happened? Ugh, I was wrong. Usually I'm good at this stuff, but I couldn't guess it. I like the scene where there's the the will reading, where they're going over like who's going to get the house and the publishing company. That shit is real. That is authentic. That is completely accurate. That is what happens at will readings. Trust me, all families, that's where they clash and crumble apart is at the will reading. That's when the knives come out. And the main girl that we follow, follow in this movie, Marta, she was good. I thought she gave a lot of good performances. She gets very emotional. She pukes. And I heard she actually puked on set. Like, did she actually, like, stick her finger down her throat? But it looked real. I think she, they, I read something like she was eating baby food or something to make herself throw up. Or that's what she was throwing up. Something like that. But, yeah. Uh, as for any negatives for the movie, it does uh, have kind of a slowish pace at the beginning. We gotta, like, get all the stories out. Everybody's telling their version of events. And it's not all that interesting at the beginning. This movie doesn't really give you too many red herrings, honestly. Like, they give you, like, three red herrings for these three characters. And they're all just weak, not killable. Like, why she wouldn't murder him for that. He wouldn't murder him for that. So you're just like, they're making it obvious. And they're making this obvious. So you're checking them off. They don't set up enough red herrings. They should have made everybody a red herring, like, glaringly. Like, oh my god, it has to be him. Oh no, it has to be her. Like... They don't really direct you from person to person. It's just like, okay, we got three red herrings and that's it? What about the other, like, six people in the movie? The trailer sells this movie as a comedy, and unfortunately, the two or three jokes that are ki kind of funny are in the trailer, so therefore nothing was actually funny. I didn't laugh once, and there could have been more humor in this film. There's this weird donut bit that Daniel Craig goes on and on and on about donuts and his, like, theory and just it falls flat it's not funny at all it's just weird and you're just like shaking your head like oh my god i can't believe daniel craig is saying this and daniel craig's accent is completely fake i wish he just was stuck with his actual accent i think he has a british accent 
but instead he sounds like Foghorn, Leghorn, and Chris Evans points it out. What is this? CSI KFC? <laughs> they have like this little plot device, this little uh, trait that Marta has where if she lies, she pukes, and that's bullshit. There's no way that's the actual thing. But it's only here so that the audience can officially like believe her at her word when she's telling her story. And when, when she's being interviewed, we can like take her at her word. You know, without that plot device, the audience might keep her as a suspect. Well, she's telling the truth, see? But all in all, it was okay. I just wasn't that crazy about it. There was shockingly not that much Jamie Lee Curtis in this. Like a lot of the main actors don't get that much of a focus at all. Like I said, it's focused on Marta and she's okay. But I just wanted more from the other people. I wanted more red herrings. I wanted more intrigue and mystery than there was. So when it comes to Knives Out, maybe just check this one out at Redbox. Let me know in the comments below if you solved the mystery before the reveal at the end. I'd be very curious to see if anybody did. So thank you so much for watching this. If you like what you've seen here, you can hit this like button and you can become a subscriber today just by clicking on my cartoon face in about five seconds. And until next time, happy Thanksgiving.